We're 14 days to election. Hello and welcome to the AMUs. My name is Mapito CBD. Now, the newly created Savannah region has been in the news this year for at least two cases of violence against women. As the country he heads to the polls, there are growing concerns about insecurity as armed robbery and political violence emerge. For our series dubbed Safety for My Votes, which puts the spotlight on security in hotspots community, we make a stop in the region with 129 hotspots. Correspondent Isaac Nyonyas reports read to you. Until it was carved out of the then northern region, the Savannah region has been considered one of the most peaceful areas with minimal security breaches. These mostly bordered in chieftaincy disputes. As elections draw closer, 129 hotspots have been identified by the police. With this in mind, one of the topmost security concerns for residents here in Damango, in the West Gonja municipality of the Savannah region, increasing armed robberies. It is very rampant, very common, almost day in, day out. We hear cases about armed robbery cases. And violence against women in the region. In terms of security bridges, you talk about these alleged witchcraft issues. The poor, vulnerable women, they are those that these issues are always, uh, they always suffer from these accusations. Areas like Damango Fofoso Road, Sola Damango Highway, Bamboy, Bole, and Sola Highway, including Bupe and Fofoso Highway, have all become dangerous to ply, as robberies are often recorded there. Residents say they are terrified. For other residents, youthful indiscipline is on the rise. And it appears the political fever is making most of them feel comfortable in their zones, in the sense that the politicians sometimes visit them, encourage them, and even assist them. And I am feeling that they have the potential of escalating our insecurity in the community. Here is Savannah Regional Chairman of People Living with Disabilities, Kitley Stephen. He says the political intolerance exhibited between supporters of the NPP and NDC during the registration exercise should not have gone unpunished. It was not fine, it was not good for Damango because gunshots here and there. Some of them got injured. Some of these people, those who had the guns, were brought to Damango. They were arrested and brought to Damango. As I talk, I don't know how it has ended. Meanwhile, the pains of the lynching of 90 year Madame Ekwia Dente of Kafaba in the East Gonja district and that of Maria Abukari and two others at Sumpini in the West Gonja municipality in the region are still fresh in the minds of many.